What's up, YouTube? Dom Kirby here. Today, we're going to enable FIDO2 passwordless style authentication on an Azure Active Directory tenant. And then we're going to set it up on my demo account with my Fatian Biopass key. Um, it's a super nifty little key. I did a review on my blog. I'll put the link below. But really just to demonstrate that it's very easy to go ahead and enable this for your users and start getting some adopters in there. Let's check it out. Alright, so here we are in our trusty admin center. This is my trusty demo tenant. I call it 7 plus 1 labs. It's funny if you know who I work for. Um, but let's go ahead and dive right in. So this is just a typical Microsoft admin center. I always like to advise people to start here. It's a lot less URLs to remember if you just remember to start at admin.microsoft.com. Um, but we're going to come down here to Azure Active Directory. That's going to open our Azure Active Directory admin center. In case you wanted, it's aad.portal.azure.com. But all we're going to do is click Azure Active Directory again, because Microsoft loves to add little quirks here. Uh, you can see my top secret tenant ID here. Um, but we're going to come down to security. Security is where I come to configure conditional access, identity protection, and verifiable credentials, which are a, a new thing they're working on, uh, name locations, those kind of things. But today we're going to work with authentication methods. All right. You can see I've got four different options here. Um, temporary access pass is very cool. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on that, but it basically allows you to issue a one-time pass to someone to say who is exclusively authenticating with a FIDO key or maybe with Authenticator. Uh, it allows you to issue that one-time pass so they can get in and maybe fix an issue. Maybe they got a new phone or dropped their FIDO key in the drain or something crazy, right? Something, uh, something you can use to get around those scenarios. Authenticator is push-based, right? Push to my phone, pick the right secret number, uh, let me in, please, right? Fingerprint, all that jazz. But let's focus on FIDO2 today. Now, I kind of cheated. It's already turned on in this tenant, and that's because it takes some time to propagate when you turn it on. So I wanted this to be ready to go so we could do this in one video. But you see, I have it turned on for all users. If you want to, you could add a group of users in here that are maybe your, your testers for this, right? But I have it turned on for all users. And if we come to the Configure tab, um, basically, we want to allow self-service setup, right? We want people to enroll their own keys. There are certain scenarios where you don't want to allow this, um, particularly in the hiring compliance space. You might be dealing with scenarios where you don't necessarily want that uh, user to be using their own key, right? But I typically use self-service setup and walk users through it or write documentation. And then, of course, attestation is just an important uh, setting that we can dive into on another video, but we're really here to look at the shiny stuff today. Um, if you guys want to learn more about attestation and how... Uh, U2F really works on the back end. Uh, let me know. Uh, or also, there's a lot of other great creators here on YouTube that have made that. Um, so that's great. We turned it on. That's that's literally it, right? On, select users or all users, allow self-service setup, and force that testation. That's all there is to it, right? Um, so typically, you'd need to wait anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour for this to be ready to go. But again, I went ahead and did this earlier so that you could see it today. So what I did is I just came to portal.office.com here. And what we're going to do real quick is go ahead and go to our little picture or name up here and click view account. This brings you to the uh, freshly updated Microsoft Account Center if you haven't seen it in a while. But we're going to go to security info here. And I recently signed on. I want to point out that I, I signed on right before I started recording this video. Um, well, as a matter of fact, there it is. Never mind. I was going to say I recently signed on, and it's not going to prompt me, but it is. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that push on my phone. Point is, when you get into these kind of things, they're going to go ahead and want you to reauthenticate, which is a good thing. All right, so we're here in Security Info. We're going to give this a second to load up. Um, and all we're going to do is add a method. Blink. All right, and I'm going to take my FIDO2 key here, pop it into my Surface like so. I've got my little green light. All right, and we are going to choose Security Key. Now we have an option between a USB and an NFC device. So if you have an NFC compatible uh, laptop and you have an NFC key, that's great. We'll go ahead and click add USB device, have your key ready. I got my key ready. And this can, this can be a little clunky and slow, right? It's got to get that ready, but basically it's preparing, um, I would call it an equivalent to CSR, right? So we're going to say, okay, it's going to, really want to discuss what you're doing here so definitely read that on first shot it's important and then i'm going to touch my security key 
Uh, this key is biometric, so it is not going to prompt me for a pin. If you had a, a traditional key, you'd be prompted for a pin. All right. And that's it. So we'll give it a name. So I'm going to call it my biopass. We'll hit next. And we'll hit done. That's it. We've added our security key. We can add more security keys. There's all kinds of things we can do. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open an in private window with a different edge profile. And what that's going to get us is the ability to sign in again. All right. So we'll go to portal.office.com. It's going to say, who the heck are you? I don't even need to type a username. This is the cool thing, right? So we're going to go sign in options, sign in with the security key. Give it a second. Again, typically you'd be prompted for a pin here. This key is biometric. So I'm going to provide it a figure. And I can pick some accounts here. I'm going to hit OK. And we're signed in, right? No username, no password, physical presence of the key, physical presence of me identifying myself to the key and my fingerprint. So I really hope you found this informative. I'm a big fan of FIDO2. It's my favorite passwordless authentication method. Try it out. Let me know down below how it went. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you.